Cool, uh, Heinz, I see your hand is up. Oh, sorry, Z, thanks. Um, Gents, um, hope you're well. Um, everything's going swimmingly down under. Um, Kubis, um, just um, two questions quickly from me. Just um, how are you feeling? Um, do, you, do you feel mentally ready, you know, because, I mean, you, you're pretty much coming in a bit cold, you know, after that injury, you know, is that a bit of a challenge? And secondly, I'm excited to have a new young guy in the back line with you and Kanan Moody. Uh, if you thank you for the question if you look at our um, trainings I won't say we anyone would be coming in cold um, we go quite full on um, in the training sessions and also I've been I've been part part of the squad from the beginning so even though I haven't played the the way we train is quite quite similar to a game so yes I'm I'm confident I'm not too worried about not having played for a few months um so yeah uh, just excited to get get out and 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 get some game time under the belt and then with uh Kanan, <laughs> what a champ uh young boy i think he's excited i think we all are excited to see what he can do um so yeah i think he's gonna go out there and put in a massive shift steven Thanks, uh, Dion, I'm sure you saw this question coming about the throwing in at the lineouts <laughs> and all that. And uh, how big a challenge do you expect that to be? And then uh, when last did you have a good run of uh, consistent uh, consistent run of games at Hooker? Uh, thanks, Stephen. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's only a small a small part of, of, of the game. I think there's lots of more um, other responsibilities in the game than just lineup train. I've been been doing it for for quite a while now with with the Stormers and at the box now. Um, but playing uh, playing a game at Duca probably uh, a few years back. I played one in uh, in, in France. I played a few years there in, at Duca as well. Nathan. Again, sorry, it's uh, Dion. We're probably expecting all these questions with you playing hooker. But uh, how do you go about preparing for this fixture? As you uh, announced, you're slotting at hooker, but I haven't played in a long time. So how have you prepared for for for, for this game? Yeah, I think uh, in my 16 years, 16 years of professional, I've played more more years at hooker as as flanks. So I would say I have more I'm more experience at hooker than than at uh, at flanks. So, yeah, it's, I, I approach it as as a normal game. Uh, like I said, the the throwing in is just a small part of the whole of the whole game. And uh, like I said, we've been training training that hard, and it's and it's going well. So yeah, and hopefully I can uh, bring you into the game. Stephen. Sorry, Z, I, I just want to give some of the other guys a chance. In fairness, because I've, oh. I've asked a question, so if there's anything, I'll no, I have. Uh, cool. Yeah. Th thanks, Stephen. Uh, Percy, you can ask in Afrikaans uh, immediately if you'd like. Bye, bye. Thank you, Zina. Zina, can I ask Afrikaans for you two minutes, please? Right, yeah. so Percy. Ik sê veel baie dankie. Goeie dag sê meneer. Um, Brandes, kan ek jou vannacht vraag? Um, het moet een reese compliment wees as, as jou afvroegte praat van hulle sien jou as die type van een speler wat so skalk Brits in die wereldbeke gespeel het aan 2019 om een type van een, ek wil amper sê, een versatile rol speel. Maar terselde tyd, in my opinie, kan dit ook nadelig wees van jy kan nie noodwendig specialiseer in hierdie sprongbokspan nie. Hoe sien jy hierdie geleentheid? Ek denk enige spelers as ek jou as een vorig sien om enige posies te speel in sprongbokspan. En dan Kobus, vir jou, net om weer terug in, op, op, op hierdie vlak te wees, meneer, my collega het jou gevra net kortliks, hoe voel het om terug te wees en hoe voel het om die nieuweling um, iemand soos um, Kain en Moody saam met julle in die achterleentheid het, meneer? Wat is die gesprekke met omse geweest hierdie week so ver? Ja, so ja thanks per se. Um... Ja, ik denk is misschien jouw opinie dat ik denk is al deelig, maar ik denk voor enige span denk ik is al speler is wat uh, een of twee of twee keer drie posities kan, kan, kan ik zeggen, cover en dit goed doen op die, op die, op die vlak. Als je op die posities, dan is het, is het goed voor die span. So, uh, ja. Alright. Um, <coughs> ja, Percy Baar, dank je. Het is leuk om terug te wees. Um, was deel van, van die squad van die begin af. Maar um, 
kan nou eerst enkele tjol, so, as ek nou geleentheid krijg die naweg, ek, ek is rarig opgewonde, ek kan nie, kan nie, ek slaap in die ander nie, ek kan nie wacht om, om net op die veld te kom nie, en dan met die mannetjes soos Moody, um, die gesprekke wat ons het met hom en in die meetings, hy, ek denk hy is vol conference, hy weet, daar is 22 ander manne op die veld, wat wel in die span wat, wat sy rug gaan hee, en hy kan net gaan doen wat hy wil doen, um, en ek denk dit gaan een grote wees vir hom. Steven, you can go. Uh, thanks, Zee. Um, Corbis, uh, ja, Trevor het nou net gesê, hoeveel, um, jy weet, minder ruimte daar is um, op hierdie, um, jy weet, op, op toetsvlak. Um, hoe sien uh, jy jou um, primaire taak hierdie, hierdie naweek? Um, gaan jy met een bykie uh, meer um, sê, uh, of inhibition speel as, as gewoonlik, net een bykie a bit more careful, Amper. Even I think that I think that we allowed to be careful. We have to do what we have to do, and that's the plan that we have to do for the whole week. Um, I think that uh, om for the bank to play, give people a chance to try to read the game to while you are sitting. So when you get up, you know precisely what what you have to do. Um, of jy meer die bal moet hou en of jy met die plan moet bly en of wat ook al verwag is van jou, so dit, dit maak dinge daar een bykie makkelijker, um, maar ja, ons, ons gaan ons gaan nie gaan om verzichtig wees nie. Kobus? Ek is Inja. Kobus, ek wil jou vraag, um, dit is jou eerste, jou eerste toets van die jaar en dat jy terug is van jou besering, ehm, um, oor die jaar, die tijd is hier die wereldbeker, uh, speel het rol in die achterkop, dat jy, wanneer jy jou kans moet kry in die bokspan, dat jy die meeste afvan moet maak? Um, ek denk, allemaal, allemaal wat speel, moet, moet die meeste maak van hulle, van hulle kans, want ons is een groepie met, ons, wel hier, um, 33 ouwens, wat allemaal druk om te jol, so as jy nie jou kans gaan gebruik nie, of jy nou terugkom van een besering af, en of jy vier games in een rij begin het, as jy nie jou kans gaan gebruik hier, dan ga jy nie meer jolie. So, het is maar die, die competitie in die groep, wat ek denk, een goeie ring is, dit drijf allemaal om te traai, verbeter in die eie, eie spel, en die game verbeter, so, ja, dit, dat is altyd druk op die mense. Uh, Justin? Good afternoon, Jen, so, Kobus, for you, yesterday I asked coach Jacques about, you know, just the scrum of position, and admittedly, it's a very really strong position at the moment, yourself, Faf, Jaden, Herschel. Um, for you personally, fantastic and great to have that opportunity. Um, on a, any given day, sort of how do you go about as individuals, you know, wanting to get into that 23-man squad, how do you go about just conducting yourselves in training and so forth in the hope that you eventually get to, to play uh, in a match again? Um, yeah, like I said, our trainings are are very similar to a game um so again you can't switch off at any trading so you have to have to produce what you want to produce in a game um that's by being accurate with your passing kicking and if there's opportunity to take it um and also i think all of us <laughs> um just trying to to up their games a little bit by improving their kicking improving their their tackling or passing or but that is a self-managed thing. So we train and then afterwards you have to go and do your work on what you feel you need to, to improve to, to get into the team. Morgan? Thanks, Zee. Hi, Kubis. Kubis, how excited are you about this possible half halfback combination tomorrow with Damien? I don't think that the two of you have played together with it. Uh, Damien's a player with some serious flair and the, the combination could possibly bring the best out of both of you players. Um, I think in the previous, uh, the previous two said it as well. Um, any player that uh, slots in, like like Gaza now for Andre, he he brings his own own bit of flair or, or his own identity. Um, so yeah, excited to to play with him. Um, all I need from him is good comms, and I'll 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 give him what he wants, and then he can do his magic, and hopefully the team can can thrive of that. Uh, Steven? Thanks, Z. 
Uh, Dion, ons het gesien dat uh, in, die, in die toets, um, die eerste toets die nie oorblik sê, te Malcolm, uh, baie hoog standaard gestel by die afbrekpunte. Um, Nes, jy ook, jy weet, in die, in die eindstrijd um, van, die, van die URC, denk jy, dit kan vir julle een groot troef wees om daar type uh, van uh, baljag uh, vermoens uh, in, die, in die span te heet in die Wallaby Saterdag? Ja, Steven, ek dink as jy een of twee um, ouwens het wat bykie die um, afbrekpunte net bykie kan disrupt vir hulle, kan, kan het help. Um, maar ek dink jy is net, is net Malcolm nie, ek dink Dwayne en, en Kitsie is ook baie goed in die situasie. Um, so, het is altyd lekker om te sien ook dat uh, ander ouwens ook um, die rol kan vervul. En ek dink, ja, ek kan verseker een positieve ding ook wees, maar op, 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 op waai vlak is daar ander, ander focuspunte ook ook um, in, in die wedstrijd as net om uh, jou kop in die rak te druk. Well, and then guys, we'll take the last question from Ross. How's it guys? Uh, Dion, obviously, you know, a few months ago in the URC, um, <clears throat> you were playing really well, you were uh, hopeful, you know, of uh, becoming a swingbok for the first time, but you never knew if it would happen, and it's ended up happening. You played your first t- uh, game against Wales, and now looking at your second against Australia. You know, how's this journey been for you? And, uh, you know, with um, Coach uh, Jacques yesterday mentioning that, uh, you know, they have keeping an eye on you, um, possibly being like a Skulk Brits type player at the World Cup next year. Does that give you a lot of confidence and excitement, you know, to keep your rugby at the highest standard going forward over the next year and a half? Yeah, I think uh, excitement, but I think uh, a bit of pressure as well to to um, keep your game up and keep uh, keep doing what you're doing. Um, to be honest, uh, when I came back last year, I didn't didn't think I will sit here with a Springbok on my chest. So that I'm grateful in in that in that uh, regard. And yeah, like I said, it's just to take this next game and hopefully try to perform well and just stay in the mix. And hopefully, I can. Just be Dion Free and not the uh, Skull Bridge like that. Right. <laughs> cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, thanks to all the media for, for joining our press conference. Uh, can I please request that you all just leave the meeting um, when we sign off so that I can get the recording out as quickly as possible, please? Thanks, guys. Have a lovely thanks, day. Bye bye. <laughs>